this time. What a bugger. On the highway through hell. One, two, three. A bizarre hang-up. Oh. Has Jamie and Brandon. Check the sign. In a tricky tug of war. It's bending over it. In an unfamiliar ride. It ain't no black sheep. James Luke. Oh my god. Gets more than he bargained for. This thing is mangled. And a mystery buyer. He has known the company for a lot of years. Marks a new beginning. Okay, take it. For Ken and the mission team. Hang on. Free truck wash. Near Hope, BC. Yeah, if your truck doesn't drown. On the Trans Canada Highway. Oh, mother. It's been pouring for days. We've had huge volumes of non-stop rain. You have to be that much more cautious. Now yeah, there's a truck in the middle, Jack. At 11 a.m. So we're just heading to Highway 1. Jamie Davis responds to a call in his most powerful classic record. Pretty impressive. The 45-ton general. There's apparently a tractor trailer blocking all lanes of traffic. So we'll head up there right now and get the road open. There he is. Five minutes north of town. There's no way around him, eh? Jamie rolls up. Wow. To a bogged down transport. Pretty muddy over here. This muddy ditch has actually captured the truck. Not a good thing. How's it going? Oh, it'd be better. It'd be better? The two truckers were team driving. How much weight they got on? Yeah, we're right at 79,000. Produce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the semi, full of groceries, hit the mud. The concrete disappeared, and it turned to mud. And as soon as it grabbed that passenger tire, it slid. Yeah, it just sucked us in. You don't expect this to be as soft as it was. Nobody wants to be in that situation. It's right across the whole highway. We're going to get this thing out. The guys can get on their way and get going where they're going. I'll get in here then and just hump his nose over. But on this recovery... Is this here? There's an unusual hang-up. I notice there's a sign right against this truck. OK. We got that pole right there. It's like an inch away from the sleep line. That's going to be an issue. If I move it, I'm going to do damage to the truck. Time's money, not just his, but ours. We just want to get on the road, too. It adds stress to the situation. Somehow, we're going to have to deal with it. Sounds like it's going to be cold for a while. What a bugger. Highway 1. The only last hurdle we'll have is that sign. That's going to be an issue. An unexpected snag. What a bugger. Has turned a simple recovery into a head scratcher for Jamie. Another one that looks easy, but is hard. Arriving on scene. Hey, Brad. Is Jamie's stepson, Brandon. To get this thing out of the way quickly, it's important. You know, it's blocking the highway, and we need to get it out of here. But Brandon sees. Wow. There's safety at stake. The sign that we're dealing with right now is a do not pass sign. The sign helps protect school buses as children get on and off. Everybody grab a spot. One, two, three. If we take that out of the way, that could potentially cause future accidents, and that is the last thing that we want. Is it not going to be good enough? Huh. With a pole snug against the cab and the sign angled forward. You know what I'm thinking we should do? Is pull you backwards by the trailer. Jamie will gamble on winching it the opposite direction. Okay. We haven't gotten any damage except for that quarter fender, so let's keep it that way. <laughs> All right, tighten it up. 
the art of recovery really is to get this thing back on the road without incurring any further damage. Jamie takes the controls of his classic workhorse. Oh yeah, let's give her. Inside the cab, one of the drivers carefully steers. Check the sign. So is the sign okay, Brad? It's bending over it. Yep, sign's clear. As good as it gets. It really is. A little bit hard of a task, but you know, nothing we can't get ourselves through. Okay. But uh -oh. the tractor is still mired in the ditch. Caught him in there, eh? The earth is saturated. It's cemented in. You're dealing with kind of a suction factor. Can you come up? Can he crank his wheels? <laughs> Can make a recovery twice as difficult to deal with. Just hang tight. I'll come and lift your front end over. OK. Jamie switches gears, repositioning for his next attack. We have to go around to the front and lift this thing up and winch it sideways to get it out of there. Oh, yeah. So let's fire it up, start winching. With the second driver saddled up. Put it in gear and start it now. Put it in low, low, and then just give it a little bit of clutch. The final pull begins. Yeah, a little bit. The truck is loaded with produce, so we have to make sure that we can get this thing out so they're able to drop this stuff off in time. Grab that hook, Brandon. Yeah, now come here, just, just hold it. One little more. A little more. You'll make her now, I think. Okay. The truckers can carry on with their cargo. First guy go wrong. And the highway is clear. Is that sign could have done thousands of dollars damage. That's a real big win. The driver can go back to the boss and say, hey, I didn't damage anything. And that's what we want every time. That was one of those ones that look easy, but is really hard. I love being Jamie, a second-hand man. If there's another one that comes up, sign me up, let's go. Perfect way for me to spend my Saturday. It's open. Yeah, the trail went down. West. Beautiful highway, guys. Don't be late. In the Fraser Valley, a teetering wreck deep in the woods. You don't pull too much on the low one. As mission towing boss Ken DePerrin leading the charge. Just go slow, slow, slow. The work in the mountains is a challenge. It's not your everyday recovery. A pickup truck is nose down into a hidden hazard. It's a culvert there, that's what it is, yeah. A water culvert. There's a deep hole right at the front of this vehicle. The driver caught the edge, pulled him into the ditch. Running the mission wrecker. I'm gonna get the height on it. Operator Ryan Marshall. Trying to lift that's the front. That's okay, it'll spin you a little bit. Try the, the high one. Takes pointers from 65-year-old Ken. Good, go up higher. Don't let this up. The truck is actually teetering on the culvert. It does prevent the truck from coming out nicely. Go a little more. Just catching that pile of dirt right now. With Ken's coaching. Easy, easy. The recovery slowly tilts. It's coming, it's coming. In Ryan's favor. You've got her out of the hole anyway. I think you can get a hook on her now. 
I like to go out with drivers, see what they think and what they, they do. Okay, take her up. Go out a little bit with your boom. There you go. Keep going out, keep going out. Perfect, look at that. Working with Ken, he is a legend for a reason. Okay, pull me forward a little bit. Go ahead. He just knows exactly what to do in any scenario. There you go. All right. Okay. Thanks for the help. Yep, we're good. Good job. I love it up in the back roads. So that's my kind of work. But heading back to the yard. We put our whole life into this business. We want to see it carry on. Ken's thoughts shift to the future. My family has been thinking about the big picture. We have a big decision to make. It's been weighing on me. It's a stressful thought either way. The good old truck. Lately, the De Perrins have been thinking about selling the family business. It's been a lot of years, eh? Yeah. After nearly seven decades of dedication and hard work. When we started the business, I had one truck. I feel like my family and me have built something and built something in the community. It's been a long haul, eh? Yep. For me, the Mission Towing name represents my life, really. Good and bad times. <laughs> <laughs> Mission Towing got a couple people interested in purchasing it. Today, one potential buyer is heading into town. I feel he will be the right guy for this. He is known the company for a lot of years. At the mission yard, Ken and Grandpa Wally have their legacy on the line. It's a huge decision. We've got to figure out what we're going to do. At the mission tow yard, it's a big day for the DuPerrin family. We've done a lot of thinking and we've decided it's time to sell the towing company. Minutes away, a possible buyer rolls into town. He's a good guy, and he wants to keep the business going. Arriving at the yard is a familiar face in the towing community. Suki Madge. How are you? I'm very good. Good to see you guys. You betcha. How are you? Good. Having the opportunity to purchase Mission Towing is uh, unexplainable. It's a very satisfying feeling. Suki owns Reliable Towing. For the past several winters, Reliable's mountain base in Merritt Dream Team right here. has built a reputation it's moving! Conquering extreme recoveries. He's out. Ooh. Steve, let's blow this popsicle stand. The Reliable Merit crew is amazing. I'm very proud of my team. Maybe you can show me around. Now looking to expand. And walk around, sure. look at the equipment. Yeah. Sure. Suki hopes to build on long-standing ties formed many years ago when he served as a police officer. My first station was uh, Mission. I know there's some story behind every... I've known Kenny and Wally since 1996. We have known Suki for many years. We've respected him, he's respected us. This has been a really good truck for us. Custom-made interior. Oh, wow. Mission towing is part of the fabric of the community. It's a 69 Hayes, 750 Wrecker. First uh, tandem tow truck we ever had. Wow, eh? I think that speaks volumes to what they've created here since 1954. I want an opportunity to work with you guys. I know it's not an easy decision. But it's a no-brainer for me. So, you think it's a deal? There's the man right there. 
Is it a deal? Is it a deal? Yeah, sir. Sure. Thank you so much. You're a man of your I'll, word. I'll make you proud. I know that. Uh, I will. Yeah. Everything has a reason and a purpose. That's part of life. Under Suki's ownership, the name the DePerrin family built is here to stay. That's pretty nice artwork, eh? It's gorgeous. The name to me represents hard work, dedication. The natural thing is to keep going with their tradition. This is our history, and that's what's made us different than the rest. It stands out. Feels really good to me that the Mission Towing name is going to stay. I'm really happy about that. Ken will say goodbye to operating the business, but his recovery days are far from over. Kenny's going to be a part of my operation whenever he wants to come and help out. I can go out on the heavy jobs. That's what I enjoy doing. It makes me feel, I don't know, feels, feels free. It's a real honor for me to take over. Family business, especially towing, is something you put your heart and soul into. So, Wally, is there any keys that come with this, or, you know? Yeah, and my heart. <laughs> and my heart. Well, I'll take care of both. How's that? Yeah. We have an opportunity to pass that on to somebody that will continue on with it. Exciting time. <laughs> To the northeast, high on the Coquihalla. It's snowing hard. I'm slipping a little bit. Just past the summit. That's M41 on the ditch sideways. My God. An 18 wheeler has gone sideways. It looks like he went for a hell of a ride. I'm just coming up. Dispatch from Merritt. Thank you. Is Reliable Towing's 50-ton record. I'm going to a rig that is a jackknife. Behind the wheel, it's an unusual ride. I'm driving Thor. For operator James Luke. It rides a lot smoother than the black sheep, but it ain't no black sheep. It sucks to be down. Recently, James' is prized 30-ton wrecker, Black Sheep, landed in the shop. There are so many parts that move on these trucks. It could be the biggest thing that broke or the tiniest little thing that broke. Supervisor Dylan Greenwood. Going between the axles. Worked with James to figure out the trouble. We're hoping it's the rear differentials that are the issue. You can see the whole gear set. But they discovered I don't see any chips, man. The problem is much worse. Oh, you got to be kidding me. It's the transmission. <sighs> it's a big deal here in the wintertime. We're going to lose a key truck to our fleet for about a week. Feels like crap. I want to cry. Tonight. It's definitely a rush to get to him. In a record that's a stranger to him. I've operated Thor maybe four times. James pulls up on scene. Kind of learning what it can do tonight on this job. I see a highway tractor that's jackknifed. Oh, this is not going to be fun. It's wedged in the snowbank pretty hard. Tow truck just got there. Wow. This is definitely not a good thing. Holy, that's a lot of mess. Coming around the corner. The transport slid into a snowbank, crunching the cab into the trailer. It's fully loaded with barrels and containers of engine oil. It's definitely going to be a tough pull. From the 50-ton wrecker. I'm going to hook a chain on it and try and drag it backwards. James runs a double line to the tractor. 
gonna hook on to the fifth wheel plate area and try and pull the tractor out of the snowbank. James starts to winch. Ah. But he quickly realizes. It's in there. The snowed in rig. Something's definitely not right here. Is going nowhere. Holy Lord, buddy. This thing just doesn't want to come out. No, it doesn't even want to budge it. Oh my God. On the coke. Record's trying to check the trucker out. Operating an unfamiliar record. That's in there really deep. James is up against a stubborn semi. Come on. Jackknifed into deep snow. I'm encountering a lot of resistance here. It doesn't even want to budge it. If it was a black sheep, I would get the job done easily. But this truck don't know. This thing's wedged in there. James needs a new strategy. I have to take Thor, turn around and come down the highway. I need to grab it by the back of the trailer and pull the trailer backwards. James lines up the 50 ton to give plan B a go. I gotta pull from the back to unjackknife the truck and trailer. See what Thor's got and pull as hard as I can. Finally. Keep coming. James is making headway. Hey, hey, there we go. But as the tractor inches away from its trailer. What the hell? James's night. Are you kidding me? Takes a turn for the worse. Oh, this thing ripped the wide open. The trailer has actually a big hole in the side of it. This thing is mangled. It's kind of going three steps forward and five steps back. Great on hard gear. 50 miles southwest. It's wet, very, very wet. The Trans Canada is soaked in another wave of heavy rains. Highway one can be very dangerous on a rainy night. You've got pooling water, you've got poor visibility. Right in that S curve there, so I think that's where the collision is. East of Mission. That one doesn't look too good. The downpour claims another casualty. You can hydroplane so easy, the water can pull you right into the ditch. Victims of the crash escaped serious injury. Driver's lucky to walk away from that. First on scene. Ooh, a little wet out. Are two junior operators. I'll get you on one side. Of a newly formed team. Yeah, and then we'll drag it up. Reliable Towings, Chris Prevo, and Mission Towings, Jaden Pritchard. A little interesting. Well, this is our first opportunity to combine Mission Towing and Reliable. You guys should be able to win the truck up. Yeah. It's a great feeling to see these guys that once used to be competition working together. Oh, wow. Chris discovers. Look at that. The vehicle that was hauling the camper. Absolutely amazing. Is a classic. Beautiful trucks. The 1955 Ford F100 has appeared on film sets and has been kept in tip-top shape. This is just something you don't come across every day. Now flipped over in the ditch. Even the windshield's not broken, just kicked out. Miraculously. It's amazing the strength of these old vehicles. Chris sees only minor damage. This job is one like no other. 
with the upside down camphor to contend with as well. It's a bad situation. A little more different stuff than I've done before. Jaden and Chris reach out for backup. Answering the call. Hello. It will be Ken's first chance to mentor the new reliable mission team. Hey, it's Jaden. I'm looking forward to see how Ken works with my crew to get them the experience that they need to do the job. Where are you at? We're at Herling Island. The axles are pretty much ripped apart. Well, it sounds like you got a mess up there. These guys have so much pressure on them right now to get this job done. You just take the Hurling Island exit and come back and you'll find us. OK, on my way. Bye. All right, bye-bye. I'm glad to get this call tonight because I like to go out there and make sure that it's done the right way. Hurling Island, here we go. Also dispatched. Coming down pretty heavy. A 35-ton mission wrecker. They need a heavy wrecker to come and help. With operator Andy Cullum at the wheel. It's pretty bad, though. Pretty ugly. For the past few winters, Andy has grown from a jack of all trades. Holy! That was close. Into heavy rescue. I'm happy to do what I'm doing. I like getting out on the wrecks. Let it down. He's getting better and better on each job that we go out on. Windy, rainy, it's gonna be a fun one. But at the accident scene. Do you want to wait for it? Do you want to tag team it? Just straight up pull it up. Let's tag team it. Okay. Chris and Jaden decide the classic pickup needs to be recovered now. Our biggest concern is the truck spilling any oils or contaminating the ground with anything. I'd rather get that out of the ditch. It'd be really nice to save that truck if we could. Using two light duty tow trucks, they'll try to flip the antique vehicle and finesse it up to the road. Well, I think I should be able to flip it over. I haven't done really anything like this before, so it's going to be very interesting. I got to move down at the same time as lifting it. to bring it up as smooth as possible without causing any more damage. All right, so Jaden, yeah. you're going to take most of it. But the bank is severely waterlogged. It is so rainy tonight. The ground is quite saturated. I'm going to bring it up, but we're going to suck it more towards you. It's very soft. There's lots of resistance. On your call. right now. Let yours out a little bit. Hold it. Hey, what's going on? You've got Russian lights everywhere. Near the Coca-Cola summit. Oh, yeah, he twisted sideways straight there. This thing is mangled. James is stuck working an unfamiliar record. Door. It's just not really my type of truck. When a challenging recovery. Oh, this thing's ripped wide open. Deals an unwelcome surprise. As I get the truck and trailer straightened out, I notice that the side of the trailer is ripped open. Darn. When the semi jackknifed. The damage to the trailer was hidden by the cat. This trailer is full of different types of oils. It's very nerve-wracking. Oh. That's one of their Five minutes away. I'm going to come out and assist. Dylan is patrolling the coke near James's wreck. I'm driving by. So I better get on scene there just to make sure everything's okay. 
This thing is freaking full of oil. Full of oil? That's engine oil and tranny oil. The trailer is in pretty rough shape. We want to make sure that we don't crack this thing open anymore. Go in sideways. Turn inside. They hook on to the tractor to try to straighten it. We'll just pull the first one hook over, and then we'll pull the second. Without spilling the load. Good. Don't know what's going to happen. Pray for the best. Hey, everybody. There you go. Keep going. Worst case scenario, I'm cleaning up thousands of gallons of oil. Best case scenario, I'm going to go home. Drop her down. With a quick re rig. Okay. Ready? Give her a try. Keep going, keep going. It actually pulls pretty good in high range. Yeah, good. The 50 ton record gets the semi clear of the snow. Okay, I'll admit, Thor's not so bad. <laughs> it pulls like a real truck. <laughs> Thor is twice the truck that the black sheep is. Hey, no black sheep. I'm not a fan of red, but it drives okay. Lights, camera, action, buddy. James will drop the wreck at a nearby pullout to be offloaded tomorrow. But his mind. Thor's got a lot of pulling power, but what I didn't like about it, it's Thor is on the truck he calls his own. I hope the black sheep is back up and running as fast as we can get it. Black sheep is always a part of me. Thor is just Thor. It'd be awesome if we could have it repaired in a day, but it never happens that way. Hey guys, what's the latest? One hour west. Anybody got any eyes on the situation? In the rainy Fraser Valley. Hold it. Let yours out a little bit. Okay, back in. Two junior operators. I'll bring it right towards me. From the newly formed reliable mission team. Keep coming. Fight to bring a classic pickup up a drenched bank. The pickup does not want to come out easy. It's wet, it's sopped in the mud. A little extra damage as possible. Beautiful. The star-studded picture card. Back on the road. Sustains no further damage. Woo! The pickup truck actually looks really good right now. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I love this truck. But the camper it was hauling is a different story. The job this complicated. We just want to have a little bit of backup to give us a hand. 15 minutes west. Got a couple of newbies up there. Recovery veteran Ken is en route to help the younger generation. They're very stressed and want to get this out. I told Suki I would still work with them on these jobs. Having Ken around is going to be really good for these guys. Ahead of Ken. It's Andy. Missions Truck 90 arrives on scene. How's it going? Andy. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, look at that. Takes the situation in. The trailer has two warped axles on it. It's upside down. It's going to be a bit of a challenge to roll it back over. And just above the camper. We are watching those, right? Is another complication. This trailer's been really close to the power lines. We gotta stay enough away from those that we're not gonna get shocked or endanger anybody else. That's yeah. my biggest concern right now. With the unrelenting storm. I guess he stop it. Yeah, it's coming down hard. Creating dangerous road conditions. Everyone likes to speed around this corner. Everyone likes to come down this corner fast. Holy crap! Andy will do what he can with the camper 
before more backup arrives. The sooner we're off this highway right now, the better. I was thinking if we can pick it up oh, yeah. and then drag it on the one axle. Under live wires, with one line to the camper's axles and a second line rigged to the hitch, the heavy will try to coax the unit over. Try to pick it up and roll it all at once without having the boom too close to the wires. I'm just worried about those lines if we try and flip it at the top end and it get too close. Andy kicks into action. We're just gonna have to take a very big watch on the power lines and just try to be careful. It's all gonna get really hurt. Oh, absolutely crazy. Wow. Run out of height. On rain drenched Highway 1. Wow, absolutely crazy. A threat from above. Run out of height. Is testing the new reliable mission team. If we get too close to those power lines, they can arc down, and that could cause really catastrophic injuries. On truck 90, Good. Andy has flexed his skills with a flipped camper. We're able to get it over onto its side, but we're a little bit nervous. Minutes later... Should be rolling up on this wreck here at any second. Ken arrives to help. Here we go. Oh, yeah, she's a mess in there. Having Ken on scene feels great. He's a legend. Hey, guy, how's it going? Hey, how are you? Ken takes in what the young crew has already pulled off. These guys got the old pickup out of the ditch. They've done a good job on it. Okay. Was this down further? Is this about where it landed? It was all the way in, right on its roof. But the hardest part of the recovery... Yeah, she's in there pretty good. ...is still to come. What happens to a camper, you can pull the frame right off the body. So you gotta be very careful. Another strap? With the gear on sight. Have you got a short loop? As short as I got. Ken comes up with a plan. Okay, let's wrap it a few times. To hold the flimsy unit together with straps. Right around and under. That's all we need. Yeah, loop that. With Ken here now, it gives me the opportunity to learn all the little tricks of the trade that he brings along with him. Pull in this one, let's tie back to here somewhere. Okay. And the seasoned leader. If we can get it down a little bit more. Has a crucial tip to share. Right there. On a trailer, there's some strong parts. Just try to get this down further to the wall. Otherwise, it just cuts right through these things, right? If you find the bathroom wall, there's a divider there. That's where you want to put it. Well, on this one, I'll watch it from here. With two straps now cradling the casualty. Tightening up. Under live wires. You gotta be very careful working around power lines. It could become very dangerous. Okay, take her. There we go. Andy begins the touchy flip. Okay, okay. Keep going. Keep going. Tighten your other one up a bit. It's a little bit tricky, this one. Last thing you want to do is rip somebody's trailer apart. Okay, your other one, your other one. You don't want to go backwards. You're going to want to take off on you. As it comes over onto its wheels, you can lose it. You really got to be careful. To secure the landing, who's in the one tent? Ken ups his plan of attack. Okay, let's get it down here. They'll add a small tow truck on scene to Truck 90's efforts to tilt and coax the unit the rest of the way to the road. Okay. He's going to roll it first, and then you're going to pull it. OK, take her. You don't want secondary damage done to this. Bring her right over, then you can take her. you got to watch your angles and your pivot points. Go a little bit, Jason. 
Veteran can coordinate. Keep going. Let's work together here. As the newly formed reliable mission team. Hold there, Jane. Fights to conquer the tricky job. Let off on this one as you go, Andy. Let him take it a bit. I am. If you rip a trailer apart, that's one big mess. Gonna be a pile of splinters sitting there because you did something wrong. Down on this one. Andy, keep going with your low one. So you got the weight coming our way now. You can pull too hard or you can pull not enough. Keep going, Jaden. And they can come right off the frame. Jaden, hang on. They get that rack all cleaned up. In the final stage. Let's take a little pull down. Of a rain-soaked recovery. And me. Ken leads a newly formed team trying to save a fragile camper. Hey, Jaden, hang on. The axles are twisted, so it's causing us some friction of pulling it out of this ditch. Hey, Andy, pick it up. The last thing I want to do is rip the trailer to pieces. Hey, we're going to hook the back end now. Hang on. Under Ken's experienced eye, it's wet, it's cold, it's rainy, it's windy. The younger generation presses on. Now you'll have some pulling power. You'll see a big difference. Go snugger up, I'll hold it. It's really great to have Ken there to help coordinate the final pull. Pull it down a little bit, Andy. There you go. Go, Jaden, go. The flamesy camper. There you go. You think you got her now, Andy? Holds together. There you go. Hey, three. It's a watershed moment. Okay. Straight now. The first recovery on the books. Perfect. For the new reliable mission team. Okay. You're free. It was really nice working with Ken tonight. It's learning from someone the entire time. Go ahead. Having Ken on the team with the junior guys, it's a great feeling for me. There you go. I'm soaking wet. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> but it was good, good coming out here. That's what I love to do, and I'm there to help them. Days later, another five degrees. Perfect. At Reliable's Merit Base. Hell yeah, we're taking it for a ride. James's one and only record is finally ready after some major shop time. Today is the day the black sheep is back. We did the transmission. It's got a brand new clutch in it, and now it's back to new. While his favorite heavy was down, James found a way to keep it close. I got the black sheet tattooed on me. Oh, nice. That's awesome. It's part of me, literally now. <laughs> With blue skies and clear pavement, it's a perfect day to take the black sheep out for a joyride. Feels nice to be back in the seat of this truck. James sets out for a test run. We're just taking a little jaunt up the highway. We're going to see how the truck drives. Black sheep's new transmission. It shifts pretty darn nice now. Is more than just a repair. It's an upgrade. We've installed a brand new 18-speed transmission. Five extra gears for better performance on steep mountain grades. What a good old girl. I'm looking forward to going out and doing some heavy calls. I'm probably going to sleep in this thing tonight. <laughs> we got a storm front coming. Next time.
on Highway Through Hell. Just ripped it all off. It's a punishing night on the mountain. You ready to go? For Scott and a new recruit. The next generation all day with it. takes the controls no, 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 no. for Team Green and a deep chill closure. Kicked right in there. Puts the heat oh, no luck. on Jamie and Greg. 